Hey, we're the Rubens. We're um, coming to you from Clock and Flap Festival in Hong Kong. How you doing? It was amazing. Yeah, we had so much fun. The crowd was awesome. We had some cheers, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. And that made us feel okay about ourselves. We felt like we were ready to do it, make it happen. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. The sound was good on stage. Everyone was really polite as well, so it was an awesome time. I would say um, this has to be one of the best festivals we've ever played, I think. Like, that's no joke. We played Splendor in the Grass, and that was amazing. And we played a few other Aussie ones as well. But um, I think... I think the crowd just made it different for us. There was a lot of expats here that made sort of got the rest of the crowd going. They didn't know where we were, and uh, and the whole the chanting of Aussie, Aussie, Aussie and stuff was funny. And and yeah, everyone's just really polite. You know, they don't talk when you have a quiet part in the song, whereas other countries they'll talk and have a conversation. It becomes really loud and you lose them. But everyone here seems to be really like you know involved and and, and keen. We played a we played a festival in Taipei called uh, what was the festival called in Taipei? Happy something? Simple, simple Life. Simple Life. We, yeah, we played a festival yesterday. It was Simple Life. Yeah, it was their biggest festival, I think. It was like 15,000 people. Not watching us, obviously. But um, it was pouring rain and there was just, everyone was here with like raincoats, matching raincoats and umbrellas, just like watching. We're basically just, yeah, like, you know, this is the, the next closest thing to Australia. So we're just slowly trying to move out like a virus. We were, um, we, we were nominated for two and we were still really really scared that we weren't going to win any and um although we, we felt i think quietly confident um at, at times when it actually came to the announcement i think we were all shitting our pants um like and then uh, you know if we hadn't won the the unearthed award i think when it came to the the, the album of the, of the year award we probably would have fainted so we um winning that award was amazing and then when when the album of the year went to tame impala who are one of our favorite bands you know not just in australia but like our favorite bands we were just like, sweet, okay, like we've, we've done really well here. Like, you know, we're up against the, the, the best, so. Uh, we plan to expand. I think we're going to play, um, at the start of the year, we're playing in Singapore and Bangkok and maybe somewhere Taiwan else. Again. Ta Taiwan again, I think, maybe. Um, supporting the vaccines in January. And then I think uh, it's close on. to the start of the year. Oh, New Zealand, yeah. New, New Year's. Year's. Around New Year's, we've got a show in New Zealand, Rhythm and Vines, and then we've got we're going to play South by in Texas. Um, pretty much, it's very busy, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah. So, how do you guys get through like a touring schedule like that? Um, I don't know. Um, Clint, this. Clint, 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 say Clint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually this is actually true. Clint, our tour manager, he actually gets us through, and we're not trying to plug him here because I know he'll wet his pants. He'll be so happy when he. <laughs> He'll have a little happy wee when he sees this, but like, honestly, having someone around, like a, a little crew around you that can help makes a world of difference. We could no, like there's no chance we would still have our sanity doing the amount of touring we've done without a good tour manager and sound and stuff like that. So yeah, like we help each other out. It's just a good crew, I guess. Like we all have fun and I, we never fight. I think it's the, ma the main thing is we all just like really, really get along well and take the piss and have a, have a good time. This is the man of the hour. This is this is this is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> I hope that people um get understand that we really are really really psyched to be doing what we're doing. Like, because we are on, like it's genuine on stage when we're when it looks like we're having fun. We actually are, and we are really stoked to be. You know, we're in Hong Kong. Like, what the hell are we like? When when did this happen? You know, like, it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Um, I think Justin Bieber and um, One Direction are a good sign of where the world's going. So I think we're prob it's probably going to end. Pardon? Like, maybe they'll get together. And maybe they'll, they'll create like a super group, then then like a black hole will happen, and then the whole world will implode. Nice. <laughs> That'll be the end of everything, you except for it. us because we have a bunker. No, like you'll be like the we really do. Survivors. We really <laughs> have a bunker. The bunker. bunker. <laughs> you'll be the only survivors because you know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. You can't be too prepared. Nice. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for your time. You had an awesome set there. Hong Kong has been absolutely amazing. Clock and flat, 2012 with the Rubens. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Good luck for us. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. You're watching the AU Review. Review.